charity shop purchase, just two dollars. It's a solar chopper, claimed to be perfect to play under the sunlight. Well, it's winter here in Melbourne and there's not much sunlight. Here's the blurb on the box. No tools, 19 pieces. And it claims that you can watch it fly. The main reason why I bought it was for the solar panel. It's actually a little bit smaller than what appears on the box, but we'll have a look at it and see what voltage and current it produces. It looks like it's never been put together. Yep, even the bags are sealed. There is a switch, but no battery. Now this looks like the motor assembly, maybe. That presumably is the baseboard. Oh, there's a gearbox. Oh, there's the rotor. And this must be the body of the helicopter, or at least part of it. This cardboard thing is actually part of the house, which is assembled first. Got out the multimeter and even on a cloudy day I measured about 2.7 volts so so far so good. Next thing is this gearbox and then what looks like a crank and the helicopter fits onto it presumably. It's still a cloudy day. We'll just turn on the switch, see what happens. The motor is working, but very little torque. Even need some help to get it started. Cleverly, there's a little tilting thing on the panels so you can adjust it to most power. And yet power is what you need with this. Although the voltage was quite good, even when it was cloudy, you actually need a decent amount of power to drive the motor, especially when there's the load presented by the weight of the helicopter and the gearbox. The sun's coming out and the motor is starting. What else can you do? Well, a motor in reverse is a generator. I've taken the helicopter off and I'm just cranking it around. A 
attached on the power connection is a 39 ohm resistor. I'm getting about 3.3 volts. across that 39 ohm resistor. I'll now try a lower value resistor. This resistor here is 4.7 ohm. Much harder cranking. And I'm getting around 0.5 of a volt. The problem is, with all the force, the whole thing's falling apart. About 0.6 of a volt there. I'm free of that box that just disintegrated with all the pressure, so I'll crank as hard as I can. Now up to about 0.8 of a volt. What's happened now? I'm only getting 0.2 of a volt. Looks like I've stripped all the gears. Oh no, I'm going the other way. Let's see what happens now. At least there's some normal screws, so we'll open this up and see if we can look at the damage. As for the motor, the moral of all this is that if you do want to use a motor as a generator, you do need good gears and I damaged this as I was taking it well beyond its intended use of a solar powered toy helicopter.